So I annoyed with myself. I thought I was recording, but I wasn't. So you're coming right at the end of this, where I am using my leftover craft resin in some silicone heart molds. And I've cut them up as per my girl pal, Miriam from Miriam Night Nature said, get rid of all your floppy excess silicone you don't know. And I am using the leftover pigments, which is the Colour Me Happy Pigments. And in my resin, I've got the super sparkly white and the uh, gold leaf, just a little bit. And I've just poured them in where it was clear to start with. And then, what am I trying to say? I'm just annoying myself because I forgot. It, it was um, clear at the bottom. Then I've added my purple. Then I've added a little bit of white. And I've added the purple and now I'm adding my white again. There's just not enough of the colours and I'm just a bit worried that it's going to be too dark. But I will need to come and dome it so I can dome it with, dome it with something sparkly and white or something that's going to complement it. But I didn't want to waste resin. Hence, enter you guys where I've just realised I'm only just recording. So that is incredibly frustrating. So I don't know whether this is going to add any value um, or if it's just going to be too dark. But we don't know, do we, unless we uh, experiment. So I'm just trying to spread the white around, but I don't think it's going to do much. You can tell I'm tired. I've been working on a lot of coasters and editing. So I think what I'm going to do is just roughly put the white in around everywhere, because at least then I'll get different shades of purple, hopefully. And hopefully there'll be some effects at the bottom, and then I can come some and these might be nice little gift ideas for your valentine all right i can do no more other than try Sort of like the planet, um, planets, oh god, Sharon, solar system. With that in mind, then I'm gonna add a tiny little bit of green just down one side. Could be saying something like, I love you to the moon and back. Well, I love you as much as the universe. I can't say I'm tripping out. Nice little heat then I can do no more until they cured and dome and let's see if I have created anything interesting <laughs> I actually look all right all right I'll bring you in for a little close-up not that you're really gonna be able to see anything but solar system eat your heart out baby so here they are you've got that little oh you can't see because that light let me move that out of the way there you may or may not be able to see so it looks like a galaxy far far away you got a little purple 
white and green coming through there and the glitter makes it look like stars. So be curious, are they going to dry absolutely terrible or have I discovered a happy little accident? The truth will be in the curing. Put the camera down Sharon and go and have a cup of tea. Hi, welcome back to Sharon from Vivid Days. We are going to unmold these. We're going to see if they've actually turned into something useful. This was my leftover resin. I've had a little bit of clear in there. I've put a little bit of the purple, a little bit of the green. I'm hoping that maybe it might give you a solar system. And then I'll dome them and I'm going to unmold them and work out what colour I want to dome them with. So never waste your resin. So I will need to sand them off. They definitely are quite dark. There was clear around them. But this is the one where I thought there was clear, but there's not enough clear. However, if I was to come back and add clear, maybe just a tiny little bit pink through there. I don't know if it looks like a solar system, but they are quite, quite interesting, quite pretty. And rather than waste resin, why not? Let's use that resin. So I'll have to sand around my edges. Again, there's not much clear in there, but we knew it was going to be a battle with this because it was the purple leftovers. However, they are two hearts. And what I can do is add just a clear dome. And maybe just a little swirl of pink, but it would have to be fairly transparent. But that just might help nicely pop against the purple. You can definitely see the green. The white's gone, but there are different shades. And the back they're just purple. But they could be cute. So come back, let's see what we can do to dome them and see if they're going to make nice little gifts for somebody. going to be able to see the colours on these until they dry but I actually think they're really beautiful with just that little bit of clear glitter on top and that tiny little blue and pink that's going to keep bleeding out has definitely added to the feel of maybe space stars I don't know whatever word you want to use but let's come back and see what they look like cured as a beautiful gift idea hi welcome back to Sharon from vivid days for review time and I actually really enjoy these one tiny air bubble there, but it's not taken away from it. And I do think that these are beautiful and they do have a feel of um, the universe. So when I show you, I've got my nice dome and there are some nice effects around the side. You can definitely see a little bit of that green, white and purple and a bit of that clear. So it's quite an interesting uh, texture. And then when you look close here, so it does look like a galaxy heart. So there are so many potentials you can do with this mould. Um, and I quite like the bubbles in this. Is that wrong of me? I 
think it adds a lot of value. Anyway, again, some interesting effects around the edges. Sorry, turn that around. And the back there. Universal hearts. Anyway, thumbs up, subscribe, share. Comments are always welcome. Come back and hang out with me. And I hope 2020 has been an amazing start. One more time, so come back and see me again. It's fun hanging out with you. I hope you've had a wonderful January. And that 2020 has already been amazing. See you on the next video.